And now, it's time for our daily devotion, daily abiding in Jesus Christ, in the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christo Dogino Baga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily abiding in Jesus Christ. May 21st, 2020 Daniel 8 verses 13 to 14 Verse 13 Then I heard one saint speaking, and another saint said unto that certain saint which spake, How long shall be the vision concerning the daily sacrifice, and the transgression of desolation, to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden underfoot? 14. And he said unto me, Unto two thousand and three hundred days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. Quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy But the most important question remains to be answered. What is the cleansing of the sanctuary? That there was such a service in connection with the earthly sanctuary is stated in the Old Testament scriptures. But can there be anything in heaven to be cleansed? In Hebrews 9, the cleansing of both the earthly and the heavenly sanctuary is plainly taught. Once a year, on the great day of atonement, the priest entered the most holy place for the cleansing of the sanctuary. The work there performed completed the yearly round of ministration. Great Controversy, Pages, 417 and 419 Such was the service performed unto the example and shadow of heavenly things. And what was done in type in the ministration of the earthly sanctuary is done in reality in the ministration of the heavenly sanctuary. After his ascension our Savior began his work as our High Priest. For 18 centuries this work of ministration continued in the first department of the sanctuary. The blood of Christ, pleaded in behalf of penitent believers, secured their pardon and acceptance with the Father, yet their sins still remained upon the books of record. As in the typical symbolic service there was a work of atonement at the close of the year, so before Christ's work for the redemption of men is completed there is a work of atonement for the removal of sin from the sanctuary. By Ellen G. White Great Controversy, pages 420-421